Well, my friends, check out what I have here at the RC Workstation. This, my friends, is the HGP408 US Military Humvee from HG. Actually, it's called Trash Thrasher or tr some kind of crazy thing, but it stands for Hungai Technology. I don't know, but this thing is extremely awesome, my friends. This is one of my most favorite off-road military trucks other than the uh, 6x6 deuce trucks but I am a big Hummer fan or Humvee fan actually and this thing is so amazing uh, I've been looking at this truck for a few months now and I was like you know I'm gonna finally get it because I love it it is such an awesome vehicle so scaled and detailed this truck is so awesome so take a look at the box my friends little information about the uh, M1025 Humvee, which I actually have a Humvee M1025 right there, the little Tamiya one. Uh, we'll talk about that one later, but, but let's get back to the box here. Here's all the uh, components of what it has. Lot of super cool opponents there. Uh, front and rear steering axle, center speed variation transmission, wheels. Very cool, uh, aluminum, uh, no, alloy frame. Look at all, the doors actually open up, uh, hood opens up, the top comes off. If you didn't get like a uh, gear reduction, some people like to call them portals, but they are gear reductions. This thing is just so freaking awesome. Here's the controller, it comes with a 16 channel uh, controller and receiver, which is pretty awesome. To the, for them to send a controller like that. Uh, just so awesome. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the uh, bottom of it. All right. So uh, just shows some of the different uh, features they have. Now this one that I got actually is uh, the camo version. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing out the box and everything. All right, my friends, so I pulled it out of the box and look what it is. It's in another box. It's actually a case for the truck. That is pretty awesome. It's like this kind of like a styrofoam, kind of very thick styrofoam. And that's really awesome. I've never seen a RTR vehicle that comes with its own carrying case. That is really cool. And uh, it's actually held by magnets, I think. What a, that's some tough magnets, like earth magnets there. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Might have to put the camera on a tripod and actually look at getting this thing open. So uh, let's do that, all right. So get over here and open it up. Oh, oh my little action figure dropped. <laughs> well, here it is, my friends. Let me grab the camera off the try and pull out and we'll take a little closer look at this bad boy of machine. Now look at this. Very, very awesome. This is a one-tenth scale Humvee and it looks freaking amazing, my friends. The camo, there's that 16 uh, controller, 16 channel controller. Now, I've actually gone ahead and just took a lot of the plastic stuff off so that way save some time on this thing. Look at this controller. It's really awesome. So you get all these little uh, triggers, antenna there. It's 2.4 gigahertz, I believe. All these little buttons down here below. Let's see if we can get a close-up view. Focus camera, focus. There we go. We got light, smog, gear, brake. Uh, before and after cut over left and right center cut a lot of other cool features have to really look at that and see but this is amazing my friends so let's get this thing out the box and take a little bit closer look to it all right let's see if we can get this thing out oh it's, it's really in there Holy moly, this thing is heavy. <laughs> it is freaking heavy, my friends. I think they said it's roughly about 13 pounds. 
around 12 to 13 pounds. This thing is heavy and massive, big. Look at this. Now let's uh, actually set this to the side because there's some stuff down below that uh, need to be shown. Hey, look, little action figure. Maybe he can go into the. Uh, maybe he can go into the Hummer. We'll find out. <laughs> so we got some more items here. So we got screwdrivers, more stuff. Yeah, we got a 2.0, 2.5. And a 1.5 hex screwdrivers, which is nice that they send us stuff. That is awesome. All right. Let me take a seat real quick, my friends, because this is sweet. <laughs> All right. So we got the machine gun. And we got a USB cable. For what? Mm, who knows? Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Ah. Uh. We got a, uh, some kind of clip just fell out the thing. It's probably for this right here. Which ain't that nice. Look at that. They send you a little, uh, 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 what do you want to call it? Necklace or whatever. Ah, look pretty good, right? <laughs> hun, hun, hunji, hungun mado. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, yeah. We'll save that for maybe later. So yeah, it comes with tools and stuff like that. Uh, oh, got some uh, other little hardware. Let me see that. Like we got a wrench, uh, some screws, nuts. Probably some extra parts there just in case you lose anything. But uh, that's cool. So we got all that. I really like this box for the truck. Whoa. <laughs> that thing snapped in a heartbeat. Good lord. Look, watch it. Watch, what? Look. Good lord. That thing is like. Holy crap. <laughs> Not only the truck is awesome, but the box is totally freaking awesome. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve magnets. Well, all right, there's, you know, if you know anything about magnets, there's a positive side and a negative side. So I guess the positives are here, the negatives are here, or the negatives are there, and positives are there, or I don't know. <laughs> but, wow, that's crazy. So, there's a box. There's the company. I, I want to say it's Thrash, Thrashter, or I don't know really. But, there you go. You guys can see it. You make sense of it? I surely don't, but I don't care. This thing is too cool. Look at this. I'm so impressed with the heaviness of it. It weighs almost as my uh, HC6 from Cross RC, the 6x6 military truck. It weighs about almost that. This thing is heavy, but oh my god, it's so detailed, my friends. This looks just like an actual Hummer, and like I said, I have been a big Hummer fan for a long time. Look, we got mirrors right there. A little snorkeler. And I mean, wow, it's just so amazing. Oh my lord. This thing. This ain't doing no justice. We got to bring the camera up too close so you can actually see this thing. So let me grab the camera off the tripod. Hey. Hey, hey over there. Hey. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun. All right, let's grab the camera without trying to do anything. All right, so let me change up my camera settings here because we are very dark. All right, all right, okay, all right. Oh, well, yeah, we're lightening it up a little bit. Let's up, up. Well, that's a little bit better. Now, look at this, my friends. Such an amazing detail. All right, I'm trying to adjust my camera settings here. All right, well, let's bring some light in a little bit closer so we can actually get this thing in full. Look at the amazing detail work of it. I'm bringing some more light source here so we can get all the detail of it in a good view. Okay. 
So there it is. Again, check out the scaleness of this truck. Very, very cool. To the front. That is the sweet, my friends. Now the doors actually open up on it. Look at this. Oh, that is too cool. Oh God, this thing is so heavy. Look at the detail inside. Full interior. Seats are not even plastic. This is actually a rubber part, which is pretty cool. And that door can flex a long way. <laughs> but check it out, my friends. That is too cool. Let's bring in another light source here so we can get a full look of it. Ah, oh, there you go. Look at that. Crazy amount of detail in the truck. A lot of room there for some action figures. Close that door up. Oh, am I blinding you? Am I blinding you? <laughs> you gotta love the Harbor Freight flashlights. That's like the best thing they have. <laughs> well, not really. All right, let's take a back look here. <clears throat> Shirt got caught there. Just crazy. More light source, please. We need more light because this is too cool. Look at that. An actual real Humvee chassis, and it is so cool. A lot of detail. Look at the metal hooks. All this thing is metal other than the plastic body shell. That's the only thing on this thing is really plastic that I see right now. But that is too cool. Focus camera, focus. So we got this chain here that opens up the back. Uh, we've got this little pin here. Opens up the back here. Got these nice little air shocks there. This is where the battery actually goes right there. Well, we got a little detail gun there. Focus, look at it. Let's open up this. Let's see how, see if we can do this. Oh, there's one. Will I get lucky? I'm doing this all one-handed, so look at that. Got a 50 cal back there. Mmm. Yeah, someone's gonna get someone's gonna get it. <laughs> that is too cool. It all opens up. That's just way wicked cool. Oh man, this is so awesome. I've probably said that word a lot. I'm sorry guys, I really am. It's just, this thing is just so cool. Oh, look, even got the tailpipe right there. Focus camera, focus. We got to see this, that there it is. We got some beadlock wheels, 1.9. These are very, very small 1.9s. Ah. Uh, did they actually tell a size? I, I see it, but let me focus. Switch to manual mode. Zoom in. Oh, come on. Work with me, my camera. Work. Well, you might can see it. There it goes. 22 by 38. 8 by 55 so I guess you want to say these are 38 tires on it 30 inch 38 inch tires <laughs> but oh my god <laughs> like guys you don't you know you, you have no idea how like crazy excited that I'm about this vehicle it's just so scaled let's open up the door here oh you gotta have like very, very small fingers for this. Look at this. That's too cool. Everything just like an actual Humvee would have. Less focus camera. All right. Ah, it's just so heavy. Now, the hood opens up. So you pull this little latch here. That opens up. 
And again, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Oh, yeah, she's a little difficult. Tripod, please. We need a tripod in this thing. We need tripod. Tripod will help us out here. Tripod will uh, help us out. Tripod. Getting tripod. All right. Let's set tripod up on the thing. Hook your feet. Hook your feet. Lock tripod in. Bring tripod down. Okay. Focus. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up the hood. Open the other one so maybe I'll at least some of the tension up. There we go. There we go. Ah. <laughs> That's too cool. Oh, the front bumper comes down too. Look at that. You got the engine display right there, which is cool. And right here are two little switches. Pull those to open up the lid part here of the hump of the engine. And there's our electronics right there in the front. So we got our 16 channel receiver. Look at that. So many channels, so many possibilities with this thing that you can do the lights, sound, smoke. There's endless things that you can do with it. Uh, our electronics is down there. We got a, it was like a 540 brush cam motor. We got an ESC in there. Not exactly too much sure about it. Uh, we got some Dean's connections there. Uh, just really awesome. Very, you know, very well done up, my friends. So let's close that. Snaps that in place. We have something, oh, we got our brackets there, which are, these are metal, actually, well, metal, too. So, uh, let's go ahead and snap that back. Poop. Ah, oh, that thing is just so crazy heavy, my friends. Fold this up. This is like a plastic kind of rubber bumper. Some people have been doing it without the front bumper, but I honestly think that this looks good like it is. I like it. So uh, let me go ahead and latch this other one down before I, before I forget it. All right. There's a trick of getting these things to latch. There we go. Now look at the snorkeler here. This is pretty cool. Get a close up shot on that. Zoom up right here. Whee, zoom up, zoom up, zoom up, zoom, 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 zoom. All right, there you go. Look at the smokestack. You can actually unscrew the smokestack here. So you can take it off. This is actually a metal. Let's see. All right. And you can actually unscrew the cap here. And you can place it right on top here so you can get that smaller look right there instead of that big snorkeler. But I like the big snorkeler. All right. So I put it back on. Do not want parts to be missing. Screw that back on. Boom. All right. Now another thing is the top here. The torrent actually turns. So you could probably put this on a servo with the little gun right there, turning around as you drive down the road. That'd be a pretty cool thing to do if you can do it. Uh, we got another little button switch here that pops up on the top here. So now you got the top which folds in like that. That's really cool. Close it back down. Little 
windshield wipers, so much detail is in this vehicle. Now they have a couple of different versions of this typical vehicle. Uh, they have one where it has lights and sound. This one does not have the light or sound unit in it, which is a bummer, but you know what? I got sound units. I could put a sound unit in there. That's not a problem. I got light kits I could put in there. So not an issue. Now let's take a look at <coughs> Woo! That's a choker. <coughs> Woo! All right. <coughs> yeah. Woo! Uh. Ah. Sorry guys. <coughs> a little dry throated there. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's get back to this video. This is not how I wanted this unboxing to go, but oh my god, let's take the camera off the tripod because look at the mounted detail in the bottom. You've got a, tra <clears throat> a transfer transmission, transfer case. Uh, <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Choking up a little bit here, but look at this. There's our servo right there, our drive shafts. Drive shaft right there coming up into the transfer case. That is pretty awesome. Look at the smoke, uh, uh, the smoke pipe, or the exhaust pipe. <laughs> really comes from the front where the engine is, comes through, just like on a real Hummer does, or Humvee. Comes out the side there. Just crazy, just so crazy, my friends. This thing is just so detailed, and that's what I loved about this truck. When I saw it, it's like this thing is so detailed, and all the parts are made of metal. So that was a definitely, I said, like, you know, that's definitely a buy when stuff is actually made of metal or aluminum. That's definitely worth the money right there. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is not how I wanted this video to go. But it is crazy. So much detail in this truck. And I love it. I have always been a scale fanatic when it comes to RCs. And this one, straight out the box. Fully scaled out. Now, like I said, this is 4x4 drive, four-wheel drive. You can actually lock the differentials up, not by the remote, but you can lock them up manually so you can actually have full-time full of drive. Right now, it's in like part-time full of drive, so it has open dips on it. So, yeah. So, that is just so awesome. Got a little bit of clearance, uh, you know, traveling space there. Not much, but you do got some. Flexibility, you're not looking at too much flex, but Hummers were not meant for rock crawling, flexing machines. They were made to carry troops and cargo and all that other stuff. So let's take a look at the controller because a lot of people do not show off this controller. This is actually a pretty awesome controller that uh, they send for it. And uh, you should see, this is typically kind of like a controller that you would use for um, basically an airplane because you got all these different toggle switches here, three position actually. So you got A, B, C, D, E, and F. Where's G? <laughs> no G on there. But uh, also got some uh, buttons down here for uh, if you have lights. Focus camera. All right, so you got lights, smog, gear, brake, and all that stuff. Uh, you know, of course, stick. Some people do not like sticks controllers, and some people do. I've heard that you get better turning radius or more better, th better throttle and turning. Uh, yeah, better your response. Better, you know, yeah, better steering and throttle response. Like the Rescue 17 Fireboat runs on a. Uh, stick controller which is over there and uh it seems to do pretty well but it is awesome looks like it's got some crawl modes on here if i can get this camera to focus with me all right there it goes so you got some crawl focus on there or um <laughs> there you go 
So I'm not sure exactly how that works. But I need to read the instructions. Um, oh, we got a charger port down there. It looks like you can do a charging batteries or maybe charge your phone. It takes eight AA batteries. That is a killer. That's a wah, wah, wah. That's a killer for me, my friends. Focus my camera. There we go. Focus. Come on. There. <laughs> so that is awesome. Nice controller. Very nice truck. As you guys can see, it's just so super detailed, my friends. And that's what I love about this truck. Just so detailed. Now, like I said, they have this in four different color schemes. They have it in the traditional army color. Then they have a uh, desert sand color. And then they have a army green with the camo, which is the one I got. And then they have the desert sand with the camo on it. And they have the truck in two versions. They have it in a light and sound system. Or you can do regular. <clears throat> I chose to go with the regular because I have my sound units, I have my light kits I can put in there. I wasn't really impressed with the light kit and sound kit from what I watched in video wise. But uh, yeah, I'll add all that stuff in myself. But it's just such an awesome truck, my friends. So much scale detailed into this truck. It is so amazing. I know I probably said that word a lot. Amazing. Awesome. It is. It's such a great truck. And I can't wait to get this thing out on the trails and to uh, see how it's going to you know, perform and stuff. I'm going to run it with the stock electronics for right now and then I'll switch up. But I just really want to see how this truck is going to run. Uh, it's just, again, look at it. It's just so sexy. Something about <clears throat> a Hummer or Humvees are just so sexy trucks. Not the H2s, all right? Not H2s, H3s. Those are just... <clears throat> Yuck. This says, I'm a monster. Look at me. I do off-road. That's my best Arnold impression. <laughs> yeah, this is Arnold. <laughs> you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the one who brought the H1s to the market. So, that's pretty cool. But, this thing is just so awesome. Now, I do want to say <clears throat> that this is not a rock rock crawler this is a trail truck my friends this is something you're not going to crawl mountains of rocks and crazy obstacles this is a truck that you take out on the trail and ride the trail and play in some mud and stuff like that this thing is awesome now let's talk about some of the features it does have uh independent suspension uh runs on dog bones so as you can see, there's dog bones. If you can see that, they're right there, dog bones. This has a two-speed transmission, so you have a high gear and low gear, which is awesome. You can also put it in neutral, and you can rev up the motor and everything. That's pretty cool as well. It's just such an awesome truck. Uh, tires. The tires are nice and soft. You know, Not too soft, not too firm, but they're nice. Nice, good-looking tread there. Uh, I think they'll do pretty good out there on the trail. You know, I don't think you need any changing these because, like I said, it's not a rock crawler by no means, my friends. It is a trail truck. This is something that you want to hit the trails with, and I'm definitely, definitely going to do that. And uh, like I said, you can take the top off here so you can have actually the doors just showing, or take the doors and all that off. You can have you know like it's you know the thing, but uh, yeah. It is awesome truck, my friends. Very, very detailed, and I love it. <laughs> can't, can't wait to get this thing out, out there and do some trailing with this thing. It is going to be bad. All right, my friends. I think I have done it for this uh, video. We're going at 25 minutes. Wow. Long video, but this truck has so much in it. So much, as you guys can see, just so much stuff that has to go through and to show this truck off, it is awesome. All right, guys, I know you're tired of hearing me say awesome, and I probably am going to get a comment saying, oh, man, you said awesome like half a jillion times. <laughs> 
Oh well. But just too cool, my friends. All right, my friends. So I will get out and get this thing out on the trails. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Epic RC adventure. Uh, all right, my friends. Thanks for watching.